Hey guys, welcome back to LA Catan. We are playing a volcano map today. We played this once before, it was really fun. It basically, I actually got a request to play this one, so that's why I'm doing it. It's really cool because it looks like a volcano shape with a pot of gold at the center. We're in second position. The move here is to be able to build roads as fast as you can because you want to be able to tunnel in to the freaking map as soon as possible. Maybe we go 10 8, 4 here. Or do we go 4 10 8? I'm going to go 10 8, 4. But if I go 8 4 10, then people can't compete with me on this island. Because if I went 10 8 5, then somebody can go 5 4 9, and I want to be the only one on this island. But the only thing is, now it's going to be slightly harder for me to tunnel in. So for my second placement, I want to make sure that I'm on the edge and able to build in fast. There's no way they don't take 6, 9, 10 here in fourth position. But yeah, if you're new to this board, same rules as normal Catan. It's just a different board. And if you don't know what these clouds are, basically once a road touches it, it will reveal itself and it could be any resource. And then the pot of gold, if you're on it, anytime your number, anytime the six hits, you can pick a resource. Okay, so they start with a road. That makes sense. They're trying to get as close in as possible. I, I actually do think that's a really good strategy because you want to be able to build on this pot of gold as fast as possible to be able to pick your resources. But like if the six doesn't hit, it really doesn't help much. So I made do the same thing, start on my auto road here, have the pot potential to connect. Like 1094 is juicy. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go 1094, get all the resources. And I think this will actually give us a leg up to be able to build fast and just tunnel our way in as fast as possible. And I guess, oh, I guess friendly robber is active for the beginning. I did not know that. Is it, is it for the whole game? I should have turned Friendly Robber off. I didn't realize Friendly Robber was on. I should have taken that off. Might be. Okay, we're almost at a settlement to this freaking 10-5. Black about to cut me off here, it's fine. I'm here for the, I'm not on this spot for the resources anyways. I'm gonna tunnel in from this side. We don't need, we don't need that other side anyways. Wow, black tunneling in, in fast. I wonder if the move is to freaking tunnel in first and build or build up your production and then tunnel in while you're at it, you know? Okay, this is two roads right here. We could tunnel in down this way. God, we need the, the four to hit. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Do we want the 10-5 or do we want to save our settlements for inside? You know? I don't know here. I don't know what the move is. Because also you kind of need ore, right? I think I'm going to tunnel in a little bit. Oh, frick. Okay. I wasted my brick there. But we see there's a six sheep. Okay, we're gonna need this five and 10 to hit a little bit here. Fuck. Anyone, anyone, anyone? Yikes. You know what, devs are still a thing. So, why not? Okay, close to a settlement. I think I would, oh, would I opt for 10-5? I kind of wanna settle on whatever this three spot is right here, if I can. Red had to discard. Okay, let's see. Ooh, now we need wood. We're gonna hold a cycle. People are getting hit by the seven, I think. <sighs> gonna have to be careful here because it's a little bit easier to seven out here. Dang, break for two wood. Okay, now we make the trade if they want it on my turn. 
Blue takes. We'll tunnel in another time. Oh. This is going to give them a city. I'm kind of annoyed that I haven't built another settlement yet, but I, I want to put it on this one right here. Because I don't think the 10-5 is that great. And I... At least I'm tunneling in faster than red right now. I'm kind of on pace with blue. Black is definitely in the lead here. Let's go! Okay, we will settle here, actually. Because that's just a really good spot. Yes, block seven's out. Our next settlement goal is the 6510. This is so cool, like the all the lanes tunneling in. I do not like that. I am going to block them right back. Probably onto their brick or their only weed spot. That actually is decent too. Only brick or only weed spot? I might block their only weed actually so they can't city. Let's go. So they're going for the 956, which means the 5610 is open. Why would you trade them that? Now they're on the gold. I can still get to 5610. I wonder if they're going to try to like aggressively stop me though from getting there. I could maybe go for the 6410 then. I kind of don't really care much about the 6 too much. I would almost rather just settle onto my ore and be done with it because. Is the six really gonna be that great? Let's be honest. And we could settle, frankly, but I feel like this game is really about claiming your territory as fast as possible and then backtracking and building on the, the spots in the beginning once you've already expanded as fast as you can. Oh, they're going down, so we could make it to five, six, 10, I think. 5610 just is a really good spot. Army is up for grabs. We just need some ore out here. Nice. Okay, give me some wood. Give me some wood. Yes! Oh, we're so close to this gold spot. I'm gonna go for it. Let's go. I'm getting greedy with this pot of gold. Like, I actually think the gold is overrated because you literally need the six to hit for you to even get anything from it. But it's more so I don't want other people to be on it. Like I'd rather I'm on it than other people, even though I do think it's overrated. But I do think the dev game is underrated because everyone's like going for settlements and roads. So in the meantime, if I can pop some devs and get army, that's not bad either. Wow, red takes road from black. Oh, okay, so the six hit, so black gets their pot of gold, which is, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just slightly overrated. I'm gonna have to four for one for break here, but I do get onto the pot of gold. And then let's hold. Ooh, what do I want? How about some ore? Actually, I almost think my brick is gonna hit less than my ore, because I'm on less of it. I kind of want to get to a port here. Oh, so me and Black will be the only ones on the pot of gold. We have a lot of spots to build to. We got to think what we want our last settlement to be because I think a port could be pretty nice if we can get onto this three for one port back here. Yeah, well, let's, let's see. Cause we could also almost road settle or just settle onto the 41010 and upper ore production even more. We could also actually road settle now onto the 10, 10, 10. What a spot, the 10, 10, 10. Like my least favorite number in this game, but kind of funny. Wow. Or we could go four, five, ten. 10. I almost think I need to up my wood though. I think poor is also great. I think I'm gonna be the only one to go on a poor here. What? I just took road? Interesting. I'm gonna seven out here, probably. Oh, actually, steal from me. Please steal from me. 
I would appreciate that. Thank you. I am going to block Black's, probably Black's only wheat spot. They actually don't have any ports, so I'm selecting an ore. So a big thing about Volcano is managing your hand because with all of these really high production spots, you see how everyone's over seven, like perpetually at this point in the game. So it's very important for this not to happen. But alas, it did happen. Everyone had to discard so much. So it's very important to like empty out your hand and to make good, efficient use of your resources so that this does not happen. Okay, they moved it for me. I'm gonna settle into the three for one port. So now Blue and I will be the only ones on ports here, which is freaking nice. And I'm the only one with the three for one port. Oh, Black stole for me. Wow. Okay, I mean, that's just a good block. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> The 12. Oh, the 6 got blocked. Brutal. We need a city. We're out of settlements. I think we city 6510, obviously. Black already has a city on their 695, which is wild. So I really do think they are in the lead here. We are very close to a city, but I'm not risking it. We get a road builder. No, we could road build up here i think that works oh blacks embargoed everyone blacks had no trades we just learned recently that you don't really trade in 1v1 so maybe that's also the case here <gasps> interesting we could dev twice here hold it hold the phone we city we city for sure. I do kind of want a road build up here just so black doesn't cut me off. Okay. Nice. Oh no, they're gonna cut me off. It's fine, I'm slowly this way. I just don't want them to cut off my longest road. So I'll go to 445. I just have to drop a road. Oh wait, I'm out of roads. Oh. <gasps> Guys, this is the one thing I always forget in Colonist slash Catan. I always forget there's a road limit and it's 14 roads and I'm at the limit. So the good thing is that means, the good thing is, so I guess Red is the only one who can take road for me because they were able to connect their settlements and I have a singular wasted road here. So Red could take it with 15. Frick, that's so annoying. So that is a strategy to keep in mind, guys, that in this game, you're most likely going to max out on roads, so you kind of want to be able to connect your settlements because I made that mistake and now I'm not going to be able to take road because red is going to be able to take it from me because I actually just can't. So I actually think, I still think black is a threat, but they have no cards. That's annoying. They should not be riding me because literally red is going to take road for me. But I guess I am at eight, but I just think they're literally about to take it. So I think we're going to have to just step here, which is annoying. We made the mistake by not realizing we have a freaking road limit. That is something I just always forget. Black is going to win anyways. I don't know why they're being so bossy. They're probably just scared that I'm about to win. Oh! <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna city here for sure. We are gonna city. We just need to up our ore production now, essentially. Like roads mean nothing to us anymore. We just have to settle on the roads that we're given. Black wins. Okay, couple things there, guys. Homegirl did not realize 
you're out of roads. This leaves a whole different set of strategy because you have to set up your roads in the beginning so that you can backtrack and build as many settlements as possible in cities. Because in my case, I literally just had to work with the roads that I had left. There was nowhere else for me to build. So I would have had to settle here. I could have settled here. Like there were many places for me to settle. I just made the mistake of not being able to connect my settlements. Interesting. I mean, ultimately it didn't affect me too much because I still had road at the end of the day, but red, if black had not won that round, red would have taken road for me. So good to know guys. Hope you enjoy. Hope you, you know, try out this variation for yourself. It's pretty fun. Nice change of pace. And I'll see you in the next one.